Last time on Hataful Boyfriend. We're gonna fuck a bird! And now, back to Hataful Boyfriend. We're gonna fuck a bird! Okie dokie. Alright. Load. Alright, so we just finished the first semester. And, oh, we get to watch the run again. Oh, Street. Good. Temple. <gasps> uh, scary looking building stuff. Hillside. It's beautiful. Doug's got to get prepared to re-enter his uh, Schnell voice. Ah, uh, that was a good run! A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Silence ensues. I don't think I ever get a runner's high. I don't think that exists for me. Where am I? Oh, okay, I guess we're not going to discuss that. <laughs> You never get a runner's high. No, carry, carry on. No, no, no. That no. was literally all I had to say. I I don't like running. I don't either. It, it hurts my leg. It really does. My I like, leg. Yeah. I like everything that's not running. See, yeah. It's nice. I think where I broke, spiral fractured my right leg in eighth grade, like just the running, motion of running and hitting ground, hitting ground, yeah. it weakens it from time to time. I don't think that I'm sounds, fully healed. That sounds incredibly painful. Eh, it sucks. I must have wandered out of my usual stopping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleo, paleolithic homing instinct. <laughs> the sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Doesn't she sleep outside every night? She does, it appears. Oh, I don't know no. if that's who it is. Question mark? Who the fuck is what? that? I Hi. don't know you. Oh, okay. Where'd you come from? Jeez. He's got some sick theme music. What the though. fuck? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up in my face. <laughs> Her wing is resting on a. It's another woman. Colin, you want to do the woman? Yeah, I got this. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. <clears throat> Wait. Can we? Maybe. Carry on. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. We How might, cute. We might have lesbian sex with a bird, was Doug's thought. I feel a strange pressure. Is it between your legs? I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Oh, man. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon, Pigeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. <clears throat> you ran all the way from there. You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Yeah, and, uh, hmm. I like the cut of your jib. I d uh, any anyone that determined did 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 deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both. Fit. Yes, a human girl riding on the scooter with a bird. I think. And the bird's driving. Thank you. Uh, may I ask your name? I, I'm Koshiba Azima. I sell to Tokiaki. Call me Azima. It's a zombie. Mm. Call me Azima. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. So this is McGillicuddy and Dunsparce. Uh, uh, this is McGillicuddy uh, and Dunsparce. Uh, 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 McGillicuddy's the pink one. Uh, Dunsparce is uh, the blue one. Why won't um, 
Uh, Doug broke the recording. We might have to start the episode over. No. Nope. No. Right uh. Um. Azimami. One more time. Call me Azimami. It's a lot closer than. And thank you, Azami. Oh, sudden cut off. That was good music too. Silence ensues. You're a very cautious driver. I uh cut carve it in your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would end both our lives. Mm. You could have had something beautiful, and now you're fucking it, it up. may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone you'll understand. There's a far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about. But at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. Carve the speed limit God, I'm gonna for scooters is 30 kilometers I'm per hour. I'm going to have to. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic. <laughs> As part of my cr credo. Really riding tandem against the wall too? What did you throw at me? Oh, there it is. That is a rule for humans. Birds are light, so one, two more doesn't stop brakes from working. Like this. Well, I'm not a bird. And so we put it along at a zombie's hyper cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Boop. I hope we don't meet a zombie for a very long time. <laughs> it's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework for birds. Maybe I should apply for a part time job for birds since I have the chance. Become a bird. Be a bird. Let's let's be responsible. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was a cafe, right? Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a good some extra cash. That's a good good decision. Yeah, it's beautiful in here. Oh my! Pardon me, miss, but uh, we're not open yet. If you could come back at no. Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. Yes, fucking got it. Nice. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Oh. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the and the, the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, have a slip between my thighs, yearns oh, for his beak. Oh, that's right. Oh. Forgive me. I'm called Urushihara Kenzaburo. I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Schnau. <laughs> that's a great name. <laughs> I really like her name. Well, welcome, Miss Schnau. I hadn't expected a human. You gotta get that phlegm in there. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not yes, please come back to my black couch. I, I do not need, I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. I am a vitality girl. 
I shall be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Schnell. Schnell. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course! I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Oh, that's so sad. That's adorable. Tomorrow then, Miss Schnell. So elegant. <laughs> It's good to meet you, Miss Schnell. Now well, that's a bird that moistens the thighs. Today's you my... know what I mean. Today. Huh? That Today. was tequila. Today. Yeah. Today. No. Today's my first day working at Mr. Ushiara's Cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Schnell. Good morning, sir! Let me start by showing you where everything is. It's that sick. Unless those are patrons. They better be patrons. They better be. That's slavery. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He should be around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I always want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my house. Why do they have like Christian? Oh, it's real. I um, I saw a fly at the station and I... Riddle! Schnell? Look all. But what are you doing here? Schnell? <laughs> oh. It's like everyone just starts choking on their tongue. Like, it's it's a word that pigeon birds can't say. It's like, Schnell! <laughs> <laughs> oh a friend of yours, Miss Schnell. Yes, this is Rihanna. <coughs> <coughs> you came for the job too, Rihanna? Yeah, I saw it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit another job, fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, that's that. <coughs> um, Mr. Ushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly. My cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Not to be a dick to Ryota. But he has a job already. But yeah, he also he has a sick mom. Well, that's true. He does, doesn't he? I mean... Do we need the job? What, what would we buy? I don't know. But we don't even know what we look like. For God, for all we know, we're walking around naked. That's true. That's true. And we do, we are homeless, basically. We live under a rock. Yeah. So do so, we need the money? I mean, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him. Okay. Mr. Yara, do you, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Schnell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the, the uh, job. I don't really need the odd uh, job, but <laughs> Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. I just had a stroke. Are you sure, Chanel? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel bad for leaving. No, that's you me. I accidentally hit four. You you took too long. <laughs> I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day too, but. Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Yep. Mr. Ushiara is a real gentle bird. Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. Oh, uh, thanks, now. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Are you good? Okay. Our encounter has been as trans... Transient? Transient? Transient. Transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please, do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Schnell. 
I will. Thank you, Mr. Urushiaro. Thanks, Mr. Orochimaru. <laughs> Today's a local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. <gasps> Invite... Invite Ryota. Do we... Invite Sue. <laughs> no, no, that's San. That's, uh... Oh, Frody. Frody. Yeah, I don't him. Crew. Crew. Invite Ryota. Uh, Ryota's the Aussie friend. Who's the cool, yeah? Oh. Suki Momo and Minu are Yeah. Uh, Nagiki. Who is Nagiki? That's the teacher, isn't it? Is it? Sure. San and Kazuo. No, that that's the teacher. I don't know. Invite Ryota. Thanks for inviting me, Shan. Come on, let's go. So many boats! How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter gatherer instinct, Schnell. Let's go find something to eat our pay. With what? With the money what? that I make from my eight jobs. No fair, I'm paying for yours. With my imaginary money. It's a deal. Ta <laughs> hmm, yakitori sounds good right about now. <laughs> and so I spent a happy evening with Ryota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some yakitori. What's yakitori? Oh. Is it bird? Because I feel like it's bird. Because he oh, freaked out. I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Semester three. Oh no! Oh no! Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Oh, uh, my armor. I forgot to bring my armor. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself? Huh? What's the number at the top left-hand corner say? Uh, oh, he knows it's a video game. That's the breaking. Uh, breaking the fourth law. Oh. You're just a little bit early. Oh, ah. uh, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go ahead and study in the library. I lost a cursor. Oh no. There. There it is. <laughs> I want to... I got, I picked the last one. I mean... Return to my glorious abode is tempting, but I think we may as well just help Mr. Nagaki. Get the, Nanaki. Get the bird. There's no G there. Well, thank you. I'll go make us some tea. For birds. For birds. Also squirrel. <laughs> Is that canon now? That's canon. <laughs> and so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. And also eating squirrel. This tea is very good. It's mango. Uh, it has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Also squirrel. squirrel. That's it? Huh. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Crew, Okasan is always having fun and really changing constant. voices. Yep, yep. What is this for? Mm -hmm. Once summer time's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused, Ed. Focus, sir! Focus! Hotful Boyfriend. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Um. Second term. Huh? 
is that? A student ID? What? Whose is it? Someone from 2 2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home though. Oh well, no. Any teacher will do, right? Give it to Kagasani. Sir! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> <coughs> oh. Hello, Schnell. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2 2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Schnell. I can take care of that. Huh? What is it? <laughs> Nothing. You did just find this today, right? Yeah, in the corridor just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. A mystery? <gasps> so then, was the card lying there all summer? <laughs> Nobody noticed it? <coughs> it's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Rolo. His brain shut off. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> yeah! Elective day! Today's an elective day! What did I do? I did! <clears throat> Yo! Yo! Sing a song, guys. Oh no! I forgot my recorder! We're gonna sing a song. I don't think we'll have any spares. I do have my Chikari Rikaper, at least. <laughs> you can play that. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck yeah! Snow Ch level up. Charisma increased by five! Woo! I do love it. Whoa! Good Somebody Lord, was murdered. what the heck is going on? Somebody was murdered! The classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers! Did somebody eviscerate a down pillar or something? Ryuta, what? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday. It's molting season, so... Well, one little breeze it looks like this unless we make sure to keep everything clean. Now that I look closely, Ryuta said feathers are looking a little loose, too. I guess every birdie's wearing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone! There's a feather in my face! I like squirrels. <laughs> Sir, can we clean up a little before our own room? Cleaning in the morning? The atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Who? Okasan. Wretched mongrel. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? All I do is run. Come on. Are you in won't solve anything? It'd be easy if we all pitch in. And so we swap the room down before our homeroom. The end. This is a lot of feathers! Not enough for a futon, but I bet we can make a nice pillow! Of your body! And old Who clothes! Who thinks that, yeah. That'd be like someone in a human school being like, This is a lot of hair that someone shed! I bet we can make a sweater out of it! <laughs> You're a sick person! It certainly is more than usual. Well then... Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? That's you. Huh? There we go. Oh! Not again, no! <laughs>
Sir? Are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powders? Well, someone's being a negative Nancy. No, no. I dozed off and it got stuck in the washing machine last Damn night. Damn it all. That's all. That's dangerous and probably not true. <laughs> Sir, also, please be careful and stop lying to us. Mm, yes, <laughs> There's a reason he's always tired. I think he's a murderer. <laughs> I think he might kill people at night. Like the student that went missing. <gasps> and the fact dun, that dun, he tried to dun. walk us home that one time. That's true. Probably a good thing we said no. I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. We darn tuckered out the teacher. What's sex? I mean cleaning. Oh, today is the school festival. Oh, it's the school festival? Well, you know what that means. Next time on Distraction Squad 101. Woo! We... I don't even think we're gonna fuck a bird anytime soon. We might fuck a bird. Probably not, Probably though. not. Probably not. We're gonna see the school festival, though. You know, this game has significantly less bird fucking in it than I thought it would. I'm just gonna... I mean... I'm a little disappointed. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. 